Ready to help? Ready to help me cook? Did you wash your paws? All right, let's get cooking. We are gonna cook uh, cabbage rolls. And I'm gonna cook them in a solar oven. So what I'm gonna do is tonight, I'm getting these ready tonight. And uh, tomorrow, oh, 9.30, 10 o'clock, I'll go stick them in the solar oven. I give them a few hours. So here's what I'm using. Uh, I got a pound of hamburger meat. I got a pound of hot sausage. I'm gonna mix them together. And because I like hot, uh, this stuff, this will make your your uh, your eyes water here. That's some good stuff. I'm gonna put a little bit of that in there. Uh, I got a a whole cup of uh, Thrive freeze dried onions, a whole cup of Thrive green chili peppers. I've, I've rehydrated them. There they are. It smells good too. Uh, I got a cup of rice cooking the five minute quick rice and uh, we're gonna oh yeah I got to core this and then I got to boil it for I think 10 minutes oh by the way uh, you remember Jenny Jones well she's got a YouTube channel Jenny can cook and uh, that's where I'm getting this recipe I don't have all the stuff that she has, and uh, basically I just wanted to know how the heck you get the meat into the cabbage. I didn't know you had to boil it. So, I boil it, boil the cabbage, and uh, pull some leaves off. And uh, in the meantime, while it's boiling, I'll be mixing it all up in here. So uh, we'll be back in a minute. Uh, I, for I forgot one ingredient. A can of condensed tomato soup. couple of good shots of that Texas original hot sauce. Alright, I'm fixing to dig in and uh, mix that all up. We'll be back. I got my cabbage boiling. I'll give it about oh, seven or eight minutes before I take it out. I ought to have that mixed up pretty good by then. We'll be back. All right, I I got an awful lot here. Doesn't that look good, man? It smells delicious. And uh, I'm probably gonna have more than I can fit in these two pans, and these pans are the only ones that will fit in my uh, uh, solar oven. So I may have a little extra, and I'll just pop them in the oven here and bake them. For about an hour or so anyway uh well about another two or three minutes on that cabbage and i'll take it out set it on the plate there and uh, start peeling some off and we'll be back in a minute okay that's not the whole cabbage i couldn't pull the whole cabbage out with one hand so uh I, uh, I just pulled some leaves off and when I need more I'll get more and uh, here's what you gotta do you gotta thin this this uh, spine I guess you'd call it you gotta thin that down so this leaf will roll up and uh, I'll be using my burl this is oak burl this is from my wood pile out behind my house here the firewood pile this is that stuff I found in my firewood pile I still, every time I look at it, I'm just amazed at how beautiful that wood is. Anyway, let me, uh, let me get this cut off, or thin down. I'm just going to, like, shave the top of it off. And uh, this will be my first one. I'm going to get rolled up. We'll be right back. All right, there's one, and there's the, the spine that I cut off of it. And uh, I put just a heaping, heaping spoonful of that on there. So, uh, now, I'm just going to line them up in here and get as many in there as I can. So, I'll uh, do a few more and uh, catch you up here in a minute. Well, I ran out of cabbage, believe it or not. I thought that was a big cabbage. It was the biggest cabbage they had. Ran out of cabbage. 
and I had to use the inner little bitty cabbage leaves and uh, that's that's not gonna look so good but we'll see and I had I actually had a lot left over so we'll make us a little mini meatloaf see how that works alrighty uh, see you tomorrow tomorrow in the morning we'll uh, stick it in the solar oven and uh, give it about four or five hours it's gonna be a nice sunny warm day tomorrow see you tomorrow all right it's the next morning and uh, I got these in the solar oven took them out of the fridge so let me put the lid on and uh, roll it over there into the Sun see you in a few hours oh in the meantime I'm gonna be working on my building here I got to replace this one by four here I got to replace one down there uh, and then I gotta fix a hole on the back side of the shop and then I want to start painting it so uh, that's the project I'm gonna be working on for the next several days is painting actually uh, probably today and tomorrow because Wednesday we got huge amounts of rain coming for several days it looks like so I'm gonna get what I can done on this and and uh, when it starts raining I'll find something to do inside so uh, anyway see you in a few hours man look at the steam come off of my roof and uh, that bush there too I don't know if you can see that that's kind of funny Anyway, my shop is going to end up looking this color here. Remember, I rebuilt this building last year. Uh, what I wanted to tell you about is my solar oven. This is the Solivore Sport. And if you're interested in a solar oven, uh, if you will go to my homepage on my YouTube channel, and click on the yellow circle in the top right of my home page uh, it will take you to their website and if you do happen to buy one I'll get a little piece of it and I'll tell you I love solar cooking I don't do much in the winter but uh, I solar cook all summer long and I don't you can cook in the winter and I have cooked in the winter this works fine in the winter but I, I just hate cold and to me anything less than 75 is cold so uh anyhow that's the uh solar sport solar oven and this is my second or third full year with it anyway okay i gotta run to ace hardware and get some one by fours and then uh by the time i get back I will be ready to start fixing that building over there. Nothing, nothing major. Just uh, some little bit of wood I got to replace, and then I'm gonna get started painting. See ya. Uh, I'll, I'll check on this in a couple hours, and we'll uh, we'll have a look at the temperature. See you then. Remember that land I bought and cleared last year? I want to show you how pretty it's looking. I lost 30 pounds clearing this property. Of course I can't. <laughs> I found it again. <laughs> Grass is looking beautiful. Trees are looking good. And I would sell it. I would sell it to somebody that wanted to build on it and not uh, move mobile homes on it you know, or uh, rent houses. And this is the land I bought you know, about 10 years ago for the same reason. <laughs> 
Well, I went to Ace Hardware and got my lumber and some caulking. And so it's been about 45 minutes since I've been gone and it's already, now these came right out of the refrigerator there. They were ice cold and it's already oh, about 175 in there. And that's, you know, it's right now it's a uh, quarter to nine. So this is morning sun and it had to heat them up from uh, ice cold from the fridge. That's looking good. I can smell it already. Alrighty. Let me get my lumber out and uh, let's get to work. Hey, if you want to build one of these carts, I built this out of all scrap wood. Even the wheels are scrap. I pulled off old push lawnmower. And uh, I have, uh, just, just go to my, uh, just type in BC truck solar oven cart and you'll find it. Yeah, it's all just scrap, scrap wood I had laying around, bits and pieces. Uh, yeah, we're, uh, we are at three bills, and it's only been in there about two hours, so. Anyway, let me show you what I got going over here. I probably shouldn't be mixing my repair video with my solar oven cooking video, but I am. Alrighty, this was a, a little overhang. Let me get out of the sun so I can show you where I'm working. There we go. It come off of there. It was just uh, sticking out a little bit to keep the rain from hitting the port so much. But uh, I've repaired it two or three times and it's just not going to stay there. So I got that knocked down. I got that 1x4 on the corner replaced. I've got this 1x4 replaced. I've got that replaced and now I am going to take my wood stove out of here it's for sale I'm not gonna be heating with wood out here anymore so I'm gonna take the wood stove out I'm gonna plug that hole up and uh, take the pipe off the outside and all the brackets and I will be ready to paint uh, I might get to painting today I still got to do some caulking, but I, I think I can get to painting today. So uh, that's my next thing. Take all. Actually, I'm going to clean the mess up out here in the front, and then I'm going to get in here, take the stove out, take the pipe off, and plug that hole up. So, give me a little sip of water, pat my little dog, and we'll get back at it. What are you guys hovering around here for? You ain't getting none. Uh, about three hours now. I've been in there about three hours. I'm gonna probably give it another hour, maybe two. That's the nice thing about solar ovens is time is not that important. You got to give it enough time, but uh, it's very, very difficult to leave it in there for too long. So uh, I'm fixing to drink some water and uh, take a break. We'll be back. Alrighty, you would not believe how warm this got i uh, moved it out of the sun now uh, it's 1 30 i let this stay in there for a long time they even got brown isn't that cool oh yeah it got up to about 330 uh i'm fixing to take these out and we'll bring them inside get one on a plate and we'll cut it open uh yeah, we'll do that right now. Uh, let me tell you a couple of things while I'm I'm gonna cut this. I had a phone call while I was videoing. So, uh, oh my my my, yeah. I'm liking that. So I okay. Here's two things I gotta tell you. I put some hot sauce in this, right? Well, turns out <laughs> the hot sauce was a uh, ghost pepper sauce. And uh, I had some of this meat left over 
I ran out of uh, cabbage leaves, so uh, I put it in a little glass bowl, made a little tiny meatloaf, and stuck it in the oven. And I uh, ate it last night, and yes, it was delicious, but sweet mother of God, was it hot. And uh, this morning, I got up and looked at that bottle, and I read the fine print, <laughs> and it was ghost peppers, man, the hottest pepper known to man. But uh, it was good. I ate it. And these are going to be just as hot. So if I had to do it all over again, I would probably just use a little Tabasco or Louisiana hot sauce or some crystal, uh, anything but uh, ghost pepper. I probably even chose habanero over ghost pepper. And the other thing I want to tell you is in the description, uh, there is going to be an Amazon link for a really cool solar cooking cookbook and a Solivore link to that oven. Oh, and also, uh, I've got my stuff through Thrive, through uh, Big Family Homestead's Thrive link, and uh, that is some good stuff. And what I like about it is my wife doesn't like onions, and I'm the only one that likes onions. So even Dwayne hates onions. So if I cook anything for my wife or my friends, i got to leave the onions out. These are for me. So I can have these dehydrated, freeze-dried rather, freeze-dried onions, uh, I can have them ready for whenever I cook something just for me. And it's really easy to rehydrate them. And I've got the peppers and I've got some spices and I've got a few other things that I will be using. But uh, Big Family Homestead, y'all know Brad, uh, he's got a Thrive link. And if you're interested in Thrive food, go check that out. And uh, my Amazon link for a solar cookbook will be in the description. And my Solivore link, if you're interested in a solar oven, here we go. Down the hatch. If I catch on fire, you'll know. Oh man, that is so good. And I'll tell you what, it's not as hot as, uh, you know, this cooked a long, long time. Maybe, uh, boy, I tell you, that's really good. It's just hot enough. Mmm. My goodness, I'm glad I made those. This is really good. I would definitely make this again. Mm. Yep. Wow, man, that's really good. Two dirty thumbs up. I've been working all day. And uh, that's another video. So, uh, thanks for watching, y'all. I don't think I've forgotten anything. Still hurting. Wrist is killing me. Back hurts. Hair is falling out and I'm fat. Thanks for watching.